Varroa mites are known as one of the biggest challenges of the beekeeping industry today. Climate change, reduced natural broodless periods, and increasing prevalence of bee viruses make controlling Varroa more difficult than before. Apivar can be a powerful ally to beekeepers in their pursuit of a good control plan. If you're not familiar with Apivar, here are the key characteristics of this mite treatment. Apivar is an Amitraz-based treatment in the form of plastic strips with no other ingredients. Applying Apivar in your hive is extremely easy. One outstanding feature of the Apivar treatment is the absence of ambient temperature restrictions. When using the product, it can be used to efficiently reduce Varroa infestations, whether temperatures are mild or very hot. For this reason, Apivar is appropriate either for use in the spring or late summer. Of course, as with any treatment, Treating all your colonies at the same time is essential to avoid reinfestation. Apivar doesn't require any specific preparation or specific device. Amitraz is already blended into the strip. You only need to wear a pair of latex or nitrile gloves to protect your skin. Avoid leather gloves as they can accumulate Amitraz. Treating with Apivar requires only one application for a full treatment period. One strip is necessary for every five frames of bees. For a single brood chamber, this usually means two strips. For a double brood chamber, it usually means two strips in each box of bees for a total of four strips. Do not apply in honey supers or where supers are present on the hive. Apivar strip separation used to be a time killer for many beekeepers because only two strips could be separated at a time. The good news is, you can now tear several strips in one move with the newly improved Easy Rip Strip, saving a ton of time. And as we all know, time is money. To apply Apivar, place the two strips in the center of the brood area. Apivar works by contact, therefore make sure that the bees can easily access both sides of the strips. A minimum space of two frames should be left between the two strips. Leave the strips in the hive for at least six weeks. If there is brood in your hive, or if the bee cluster has moved, you can leave them in the hive for an additional two weeks, making a total of eight weeks. As Apivar is a slow-release treatment, it is completely normal if you do not observe a massive drop of mites on the very first day. The treatment will reach its complete efficacy at the end of the treatment period. On the topic of efficacy, we strongly encourage you check your hive at mid-treatment. Scrape the strips with the hive tool to remove the wax and propolis and reposition the strips in the center of the brood area. This increases the bee's contact surface with the strips and thus the treatment's efficacy. At the end of the treatment, properly dispose of the strips leaving any mite site in the hive beyond the treatment time called for in the label directions may increase the possibility of mites becoming resistant to the active ingredient. Apivar strips are protected by a vacuum pack to prevent degradation of Amitraz. Therefore, you should not keep an open pack for later use, nor reuse the strips for another treatment. Our packages have been redesigned for your convenience, accessibility, and to help reduce strip waste. Apivar strips are now available in packs of 4, 12, and 60 strips allowing you to purchase the exact number of strips required for your operation. Apivar is the same trusted strip, now easy rip, making mite control easier than ever. And hey, the next time you enjoy some downtime after a day at the apiary, don't forget to enjoy the time saved and recommend Apivar to the beekeeper next door.